A priest who served churches in Bemidji and Red Lake in the past is now at the center of a sex abuse allegation. The Crookston Diocese was made aware of a lawsuit Friday regarding Father Pat Sullivan. The accusation stems from 2008 out of St. Mary's Mission in Red Lake. The alleged victim at the time was 15. Amy Unruh has the story. There's a whole lot of guilt and shame that goes along with being sexually abused. A shocking announcement hit the Crookston Diocese and a Red Lake church over the weekend. Mike Finnegan with Jeff Anderson Associates says a man who chooses to remain anonymous came forward accusing Father Patrick Sullivan of sexual misconduct while serving at St. Mary's Mission on the Red Lake Reservation in 2008. He was worried about other kids and so he had a grave concern as do we that, that Pat Sullivan who abused him could be hurting other kids and that was the main motivation for him coming forward. While no charges have been filed, emotions are now running high in Dilworth and Holly at Father Sullivan's current churches. Shocked and tears and wanting to pray for him and everyone involved. Monsignor Mike Foltz with the Crookston Diocese held Mass in place of Father Sullivan this weekend. He says parishioners adore their priest for his genuine and caring demeanor. He's a very pastoral guy, you know. He's late for everything because he spends extra time with people. Monsignor Folds also tells me he spoke with Father Sullivan about the accusation and he denies them. People are innocent until proven otherwise and he claims no wrongdoing. From here, someone else will hold masses in Dilworth and Holly. The diocese will respond to the lawsuit and attorneys representing the alleged victim will begin interviews with possible witnesses. A lot of good people in both parishes, so they'll rally and you know, God gives us the strength to get through anything. Father Sullivan has been a priest since 1982 and has served in several communities. He was a priest in Bemidji in the late 1980s. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.